good morning students today let us begin with the new chapter that is electronic spreadsheet we have talked about word libre office writer now here what we are going to do is libre office calc it is the example of spreadsheet in spreadsheet this is the screen in front of you you are familiar with this title bar menu bar standard toolbar this is new for you this is the formula bar and here everything is in the form of rows and columns rows are horizontal like this is the row i have selected it this is the row this is also the row and row are represented as numbers 1 2 3 4 and so on and columns means columns are vertical you can see here and they are labeled as a b c d and so on so what we are doing is spreadsheet is in the form of rows and columns rows are horizontal columns are vertical and combination of row and column is known as the cell so all these are what these are cells wherever i will place the cursor it will become the active cell we have we can see the boundaries are dark this is active cell on the formula bar here you can see c4 this is the name of the cell each and every cell has a unique address what we are saying here is when i click here suppose i am clicking here what is it c column name is c and row number is 5 so here you can see in the name box it is c5 clear and if i place my cursor here then what is highlighted column h and row 5 so here in the name box you can see h5 now when i type something here you can see when i type something here and press enter this is the textual information now i will type some number have you noticed something textual data is by default left align these are the alignments so textual data is by default left align and numeric data is by default right align it is appearing on the right side of the cell so it is right align now here we have sheets in word or in documentations we have pages page 1 page 2 page 3 and so on here we have sheets this is first sheet if i want one more sheet then here is the plus sign if i click on it you will get one more sheet that is sheet 2 click on this sheet 3 now if i want to switch to sheet 1 i will just click on sheet 1 here if i want to rename this right click on it once again i will show you just right click and click on rename sheet i can rename the sheet i can give the new name suppose i want to store the data of 10th a here here i am typing as 10th a now in sheet 2 i want to store the data of 10th b so i will just rename it it will become 10th b like this and so on if you want to delete it so you can right click it and delete the sheet 